Now the first step is to try launching the game multiple times. So you can launch the game if that does not work. Try to launch the game multiple times and then check. Still not working, install Visual C++ file. For this, open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, scroll down here. You can see Visual Studio file. You have to download this x86 and x64. So download this, both the file and run this. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow. Download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Make sure both the files are installed. Once both are installed, then restart the computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Steam users can try launching the game from EA app. So open EA app and then try to launch the game. Run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now, if you have the game on EA app, click on manage and then click on view properties and then click on open folder. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. I don't have the game on Steam, I have the game on EA. And then over here, you will see the game exe file. Make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, and then click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can even try Windows 8 over here, hit apply, click on OK. You can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, and then launch the game. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, then you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK. Make a right click on EA Anti-Cheat Game Service Launcher and then run it as an administrator and then check. Next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. I'm using Windows Security, so if you're using Windows Security, go to Privacy and Security in Windows Settings, go to Windows and Windows Security, click on Virus and Threat Protection, scroll down, click on Manage Ransomware Protection, click on Allow an App through Control Folder Access, click on Yes to Allow, click on Add and Allowed App Browser Apps. Now go to the Game Installation Folder. So wherever the game is installed, if the game is installed in uh, Steam location, you can go to Steam Location FC, Open FC 2026 20, Game. I have the game on EA apps, so open program files, EA games, and then open the game folder, select the game exe file, select all the exe file, FC26, browse all apps, select this EA anti-cheat game service launcher as well, again browse all apps, select this exe file, open, and then again browse all apps, select this one, open, again browse all apps, open, installer, EA anti-cheat, Select this exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel, go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse, again go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, open the game folder and then select all the exe file one by one. All the four exe file, including the EA anti cheat installer. Select everything, select it, and then you can click on open, click on add, and then add all the exe file, then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. In my case, it is already added. The next step is to repair, update, uninstall, or reinstall EA anti cheat. Now, for this, uh, you can go to the game installation folder and then open this installer folder and then open EA anti cheat. Make a double click on EA anti cheat installer. Click on yes to allow. And then over here, click on uninstall all. This will uninstall EA anti cheat for all the EA games. And once the uninstall is success, you can launch the game. When you launch the game during the launch, it will install EA anti cheat. If that does not work, you can go to EA website. The link is provided in the video description. Scroll down here, you can see EA anti cheat installer and run this exe file. Now run this exe file, click on it. Now click on yes to allow. Now over here, first of all, click on this drop down option and select uh, EA Sports uh, Find FC26 over here. So here you can see install FC26 selected. Uh, let me close the game for now. It's launching the game. 
Now select FC26 and then click on repair. Click on OK and then go to the game installation folder and then you have to select the complete EA Sports FC26 folder and then click on select folder over here and let the repair complete. Once the repair is complete, uh, you will see. OK, let me try it once again. The game was running, so I think that's the reason I received there. So select this one and then click on select folder. Now once the install is success, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, select FC26 once again, then click on update and let the update complete. During the update, the EA anti-cheat setup may restart. If it is restarting, once you see update success, now you can launch the game. If that does not work, select FC26 once again, click on uninstall over here. And once the uninstall is done, click on install. And once the install is success, now you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. In that case, you can just select FC26 and then click on uninstall. Now, once the uninstall is done, close this. Do not install. Just click on play. And when you click on play, uh, it will, during the launch, it will reinstall EA anti-cheat. Click on yes to allow. And once it is installed, you should be able to launch the game. Still not working. The ne next step is to rename FC setup settings folder. When you do so, all the saved settings will be lost. Now for this, you can go to File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open Users folder, now open your username folder, now open App Data. If you don't see App Data at the top, you can view, select Show, put a check on Hidden Items, and then open App Data folder, Local folder, find EA Sports FC26, and then open this folder. And over here, you can see FC Setup. Uh, you can make a right click and then rename this FC Setup, and then here you can see settings, make a right click settings and then rename this and also rename this FC setup folder. Now, once you rename it, all the saved settings will be lost. You have to start everything like the settings will be lost. Now relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can rename the FC 26 folder in that location. Create a backup first because you will lose all the saved game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, you can just in this location, uh, you can select FC26, create a backup first, copy this folder and then paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created, now you can make a right click on EA Sports FC26 and then you can rename it. Once you rename it, now you can launch the game and then you can check. Let me close the game for now. Now still not working. The next step is to Try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Now for this, you can go to Steam. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. In the launch option, type in dash, dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check it. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12. You can type in dash DX12 in the launch option and then you can check. Now you can check. Still not working, you can remove this and then now, if you let me close the game for now. Now, if you have the game on EA app, you can click on manage, then click on view properties. And in the advanced launch option, type in dash DX11, then save it and then launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can even try dash DX12, save it, launch the game and then check. Still not working, remove this, save it, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to Perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. This is important. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on Find. Now, on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver. Whichever is the latest graphic card, GeForce Game Ready Driver, you can click on View, and then you can click on Download. And once the download is complete, run the .exe file, and then click on Yes to allow, and then click on OK. Click on agree and continue. Select the custom option over here and then click on next. And then make sure you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Click on next. Now, once the clean installation is done, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now, for this, type in graphics settings in Windows search box. And then click on graphics settings. And then click on add desktop app. And then go to the game installation folder. So if you have the game on Steam, you can go to this location and then open the FC26. Now for me, it's in 
EA games. Now select the game exe file over here and then click on add. Once the game is added, click on the game over here and select high performance. You will see your graphic card now launch the game. Desktop users, make sure that you connect the HDMI or DP cable to the dedicated graphic card slot. Now the next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate uh, from 240 to maybe 120 or 60 hertz. So if you monitor, this is just an example. If your monitor has 240 hertz refresh rate, try 120 or 60 hertz. You can even open Windows settings and then go to display and then go to system then go to display and then you can click on advanced display over here you can try 60 hertz and then you can check next step is to uninstall any kind of codec pack if installed in computer uninstall it restart the computer and then check close obs unplug razor tartarus disconnect key crown keyboard and then try to launch the game run ea app update now for this type in ea app in windows search box make a right click on ea app and then click on open file location make Make a right click on EA app updater and then click on run as administrator with it. And then click on yes to allow and let this complete. If there is any update, uh, let it complete. This may take some time. In, in my case, it's already up to date. So it will auto close after the update and then you can check. If that is not, you can run this EA app updater, run as administrator, click on yes to allow. And again, uh, let the update complete over here. In my case, it's already up to date. If that does not work, you can run this app recovery, make a right click and then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. And then you will see clear cache option, click on clear cache. And this will relaunch EA app and then check. Repair EA app, if that does not work, you can repair EA app so you can go to EA website and then download the, click on download the EA app go to the official website and then click on download the ea app click on windows and then you can run this exe file now do not launch the ea app instead you will see the repair option click on repair over here click on yes to allow and let the repair complete the repair will take some time and once the repair is complete it will launch ea app and then you can check next step is to install directx file now for this go to the go to this link the link is provided in the video description click on download and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now click on i accept next uncheck install bing bar next and then next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to run e app or steam as an administrator so if you have the game on steam you can go to steam click on exit and then type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam and then click on run as administrator and then check if you have the game on EA app close e app and then type in e app make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then launch the game next step is to update windows now for this you can go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update over here once all the updates are installed over here then restart the computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to update windows now for this you can go to windows update go to yeah after the once all the updates are installed restart the computer next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel so once you open control panel go to hardware and sound and then go to power options and over here if you see power saver like this you can select power saver launch the game you can even go for balance or high performance but first of all try power saver and then launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to disable daemon tools like if you have these application running on your computer so make a right click on the start menu and then go to task manager and if you find any uh, like application which says daemon tools like this make a right click and then click on end task and then okay sorry and open device manager and in device manager if you find daemon tools like you can expand this storage control if you have daemon tools running over here make a right click and then disable it in my case it is already disabled under universal vcl bus controller if you find daemon tools uninstall it if you have these application like re wasd ds4 windows auto hotkey razor synapse razor software corsair icue face it anti cheat Ride Vanguard, Logitech. If you have these application running, make sure that you close it 
from the task manager, just make a right click and then enter. This is just an example. I don't have this application running. And disable it in the device manager. If you find this application in the device manager, disable it. If you find XB, XV, DD, SC, SI, mini port in device manager, uh, you can just make a right click and uh, uh, disable it. Corsair bus, if you find it in device manager, disable it. You can even uninstall these applications and then restart the computer and then launch the game. Close all the third party applications like VLC codec, wallpaper engine, MSI apps, and the service in task manager also disable it from the device manager if it is present. Perform clean boot. Now for this type in system configuration in Windows search box, click on system configuration, go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. Make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all. Then hit apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. If you have these applications like Zepred, Crypto, Pro, Punk Buster, you can uninstall it, delete, delete all the folders from your computer related to this application if you have an uh, goodbye app goodbye dpi app uninstall it if you have dropped up green meter close it if you have any mouse or keyboard software like icue software you can just close it 3x software close it if you have game companion running close it if you have menu.exe running the task manager close it if you have wipe ports or wipe soft vr software close it so sometimes it's hidden like this so make sure that you exit everything, all the third party application and services from here. And then you can relaunch the game. If you have any kind of uh, external devices which you're not using, like if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected. If you have any, like you can disable overlay. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game. I don't have the game on Steam, so I'll show you a bit different game. Make a right click on the game, go to properties, if enable steam overlay while in game is on you can turn it off if this is already off you can turn it on and then check close all the other overlay application running like any overlay application like discord running go to discord set settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings turn off overlay do not overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi after button reward tuner then close it remove the undervolt if you have undervolted your computer now the next step is to create a new new local admin user. Now for this you can open Windows settings, go to accounts and then you can go to other users over here and create a new local account. Click on add account, add account. And then on this screen, uh, you click on I don't have this person sign in information. Click on it. And then uh, click on add a user without a Microsoft account. And then you can name it whatever you want. This is just an example. And then if you want a password, you can enter the password. If you want, if you don't want, just leave it blank. And once the account is created, click on it and then click on change account type. And then you can set it to administrator. Click on OK. And then you log out. You can lock and then log into your new account, reinstall the game and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, uh, you can uninstall the game. And after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed to C drive. Try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.